Joe, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Thank you for taking the time. My pleasure. Let me start on, on some statistics because I was literally blown away when I read these. 65 million albums sold worldwide. And we were talking before we came on air. 100 records. 100 million. 100 million, million records. units, as they call it. So units, close to yeah. that, yeah. Some, some mad figure. Yeah. Could you ever have anticipated that no, kind of success? I don't think so. I mean, you can always hope for it. You can always hope for more than that, you know. But um, when we first got together, you, you don't think statistics. You don't even think how long you'd be around. You know, I mean, we've been together 30 odd years. Who would, be, who would have been your musical influences growing up, Joe? Um, most of what you saw on top of the pops, it wasn't pap. You know, I mean, right. Bowie, uh, T-Rex, Slade, uh, Mott the Hoople were my favorite band of all time. I didn't really get into the traditional rock bands like Zeppelin and Sabbath until I was much, much older. Really? I, I grew up as a kid just watching Top of the Pops. So. so your taste matured. I love people like Wizard who used to dress up as monkeys and gorillas and play this mad music like Ballpark Incident <laughs> and see my baby jive and stuff like that. <laughs> so the theatre of it all obviously yeah, turns you know, on. Yeah, I mean Slade used to come out wearing these silly platforms and tartan suits and mirrored top hats. We all seen this shot of Bowie when, when, when he did Starman. Uh, course, yeah. On top of the pops, and it was like an alien coming down from another planet. He was so flamboyant, wasn't he? It was amazing, you know. I mean, you've got to remember back in those days, colour TV had only been around for a couple of years, so to see those kind of colours, it was unusual, it was new, whereas now it's just an everyday fact. When people think about rock and roll lifestyles, Joe, I think most of them, if they were to ask to, uh, ask to mention a few bands off the top of their head when they think about TVs flying out of hotel room <laughs> windows and groupies and, you know, that extreme, lavish lifestyle, they would probably mention Def Leppard in the top three. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether they would, actually, because... Oh, come on. The Rolling Stones were the first band I ever heard about throwing tellies at hotel yes, because they actually filmed themselves doing it, you know. And I think once they've done it, if you do, I, we've never done that. We've never never been guilty of. Here's that why, you know, when we when we were in, when we were stupid and young enough to have been able to throw tellies out the way, we couldn't have afforded it. <laughs> you know, on, we were on 30, 40 quid a week. You know.